All right, guys. So I've never actually done this before. You he already ate dinner, but he looks excited about it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Garangara, yeah. We're back with Jack again. You want pumpkin? You just wanna keep playing with Jack. Today we're gonna carve a pumpkin. I haven't actually carved a pumpkin in a very long time. I got a miniature one for Angara if he wants to chew on it or something. You gonna help us film? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Good boy, come here. Come here, I'm gonna. Come back over here and get your pumpkin. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm carving. Um, you guys could comment down below and guess if you want to. I don't know that I'm very good at this, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Come here, Angara. Easy, easy. This is Angara's very first pumpkin, too. I'll try not to make too much of a mess. Do you guys save your seeds? Do you make um, roasted pumpkin seeds at home? You helping? You stomp your feet? Angara, come here, come here, come here. All right, guys. So I've never actually done this before, but I'm gonna try roasting the pumpkin seeds from that pumpkin. Um, what I'm gonna do is just dump it in a big bowl of cold water because a couple of the sites suggested that was the easiest way to get the gloop off. Yep, that's what they called it, was gloop. Um, 
So this is supposed to help separate the seeds from the gloop. Um, there was a couple of different things that I saw them talking about. One was like, just to let them dry overnight or even put them in uh, like the oven and just kind of dry them up. But definitely this worked. The seeds just floated right to the top and the gloop is not there. That was awesome. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna heat these up in the oven or let them dry overnight. I'm just gonna go ahead and try it. The other interesting thing that they said was if your pumpkin is really big, the seeds might be extra tough. And that was a really big pumpkin. So we'll see, see how it turns out. The recipe calls for about two cups of pumpkin seeds. I'm not gonna be perfect about it. Um, one of the recipes said if there's a little bit of gloop on there that you'll get more flavor, so I don't care, I'll leave a little gloop on there. Um, so it said two cups of pumpkin seeds and about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then bake for 20 minutes. Um, this also gets a little bit confusing because some of the other sites think it takes longer than that. So I would say just keep checking on it. And then we're gonna add the seasonings after it's done cooking. Halfway through, you wanna check on how it's doing. So move it around a little bit. So I got a teaspoon of Italian seasoning tablespoon of coarse ground Himalayan pink salt and two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. You could also add a teaspoon of garlic powder if you want. So I left it in for 10 extra minutes because it wasn't actually um, very brown. We'll add the seasonings. had extra seeds so I went with the same ratio um, but this time I used truffle oil and truffle powder. Mm. Oh, like I know you already had dessert, huh? That's, so That's still pretty good. Yeah, I'm cracking it. I'm cracking it. It's tasty. Good flavor. Mm -hmm. Cody likes it. Great bake. You're a great bake. I see great bake. Giant hand. Who wants this, Jim? Just give me the baby. <laughs> Just hold Moksha then. Just hold Moksha while we're doing it. <laughs> Come in. Come in. Oh, he put the whole thing in his mouth and spit it all on the table. Oh, we'll go here. Yeah, it's funny. We'll go here and see Tara. It was funny. 